So maybe you have been struggling to create your videos for your online course. You might be struggling to hear your voice or just recording the videos and getting the screen shares. Well, what if I told you there was an easier way and you didn't have to share your face, use your voice, or even have to struggle with trying to record? I'm gonna take you behind the scenes on how you can use Canva and their avatar to create a video presentation, to share your screen, and be able to create online course videos in no time. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Misfits, Brittany Darrington here, and welcome to the Corporate Misfit Club channel, where we help female coaches, course creators, and digital product business owners to build a freedom-bound business doing what they love. Now, I'm gonna be sharing about something really amazing today, but before we dive in, I want you to check out our resource library that can help you with your digital product business. You can find out more about that below. Now, maybe you have been struggling to create your online course videos. I know that when I went into the online course space and I wanted to start creating courses, whether they were mini signature or even just trainings, I started to run into something that so many course creators and online business owners and content creators run into. I started to struggle to create online courses. I was struggling to create videos. I would either say something and I would need to start over or I would record and it was taking me too long to get it done or I was just running into roadblocks. And so I decided to just get over this hump of not being able to record and I would record record even if I made mistakes and just kept going. Now that has helped me get to where I am today to comfortably be able to record, doing face to camera, doing screen shares and so much more. But I know there's a lot of people who are just getting started and they're feeling overwhelmed. They feel this pressure when it comes to recording or they start to feel like, oh my gosh, I didn't like the way I said that or how I sounded when I said it and all of these different things. And it's keeping them from ever launching their online course, creating trainings and so much more. But now now, there is a platform called Canva, which is what I utilize to create designs and so much more, but you are now able to utilize an avatar on Canva to help you to be able to record your presentations. This avatar will talk in a specific voice. You can pick which avatar you're going to utilize, if it's a man, a woman, or, or whatnot. You can also be able to record your screens and upload the training or the lesson into your online course. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take us behind the scenes on how you can utilize Canva's avatar presentation style so that you can be able to record your online courses and your trainings and your lessons in no time. Let's go ahead and jump behind the scenes. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new design. I'm gonna to go to presentation and we are going to get started. Here we go. So once we create our new design, here is our presentation. Um, you can pick any style of what you're going with. You might already have a design that's already in place. So I'm just going to grab one for right now. Let's just grab this, apply 10 pages. We're going to say we're going to move forward with that. And then what's going to take place now is we're going to go to where it says apps. When you go to where it says apps, you are going to basically see your apps. I already have mine in place, but for you, it will be in the discover area. So you will see an app that allows you to do um, AI presenters. So it's called D-ID AI presenters. When I click on that, what I can do is connect to my account. So here is what the account is. You'll need to create a login if you have not already. So once you create a login, then we'll be able to make our way back to Canva. But the first thing you'll need to do is create your login. So let's go ahead and do that. Now that I have successfully logged in, what I can do is I can upload a picture of myself or I can utilize some of these different pictures that you see here to choose a presenter. So let's see all these different images. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and upload a photo. So let me upload one that I already have and we're gonna utilize my own photo. Okay, now I have uploaded a photo, so you can see that here. I know it already has my head cut off, but at least you can see a photo. So you can pick more of a headshot versus a body shot, like what you see all these other people doing. Now, if you don't want to utilize your own photo and you wanna utilize some of these other photos, go through and select which one is going to work best for you. Now, what's gonna happen is what should they say? So this is where it's important for you to already have your script on what they need to say about um, either presentation that you're doing and things like that. So right now I'm just gonna make up something that says, welcome 
Corporate Misfits. The next thing I'm gonna say, welcome Corporate Misfits in this lesson. We're talking all about digital marketing. Now again, I would recommend that you already have what they're going to say ahead of time. And just know that there is a 500 character limit. So for basically each slide, they cannot say more than 500 characters. So it requires you to actually include information that is relevant to the topic and not just have a whole bunch of additional added words. Then you can choose the language. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose English. This is also really cool if you're looking to create videos in different languages and things along those lines. And then choose voice. So what voice do you want them to have? So you can go through and select. Let's hear what Elizabeth sounds like. We have no clue. And in order for us to know what Elizabeth, I'm gonna move this over. In order for us to know what Elizabeth sounds like, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit preview speech. And then it gives us a, a option voice. So I'm gonna preview speech. So I got a chance to preview it. You might not have heard it, but I got a chance to hear it. If I like what I'm hearing, I can keep moving forward. If I don't like what I'm hearing, I can keep selecting new people and hit preview. Okay, so I like what I'm hearing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to generate and I'm going to go ahead and hit generate. And so now what's going to take place as it is generating for me, I will be able to eventually use this particular presenter somewhere on this page. And also it will be my photo. So again, I know sometimes when it doesn't sound like you, that could be an issue. So if you wanna just go through and just keep trying to find something that sounds the most like you, that would be great. Or just use a different photo so that people aren't like, this is not, this is not Brittany. I don't know who this is. Cause I know my voice is uh, unique compared to some of the ones that I'm hearing on here. So as this is loading, we're just gonna wait for it. Okay, so now I have my talking avatar right here. What I can do to present is go to, to this play button and now you can see it's talking for me. That's kind of cool, my eyes are moving. Oh my gosh, that's scary. Okay, so ultimately, now you can see that you can have your preferred video. Again, you don't have to utilize your own image if you don't want to. I just wanted to show you what that looked like. And so now that we know what that looks like, you can keep going on and making more uh, avatars and presentations. Please know with the free version, you only get like 20 credits. So you can upgrade and get more credits in the future, but at least now you can start your presentations and get that going if you don't have time or you're finding that you're just struggling to record. Um, another cool thing is to, again, to look at this from a different standpoint. If you want to be able to create lessons and trainings and things like that in different, um, in some sort of a different language and all of that, then you're able to do that by selecting a person and then selecting the language you're looking to create a presentation in. Okay, Corporate Misfits, go ahead and get started with playing around with this presenter avatar in Canva. If you have any questions, just let me know. Okay, Corporate Misfits, there you have it. Now that you know how to utilize Canva's avatar and how you can use it for your online courses, your lessons, even trainings or things that you might be willing to put up on YouTube, I want you to use this resource if you're struggling to create your online courses or maybe you just don't have time to be able to sit down and record. I want you to just upload that script and get going. Now, before you leave, I want you to check out our resource library for digital product business owners. It can help you to know how to market, to create online courses, and so much more. You can find that link below. And until next time, I'll see you soon. Hey there, Corporate Misfits. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. Go ahead and hit subscribe so you can be notified of some of our upcoming videos.